Hi, my name is Cassie Athena, and I am a sports photographer. One of the things that hasn't really been talked about too much is the behind the scenes stuff that went on during the NBA lockout. So one of my friends had told me about this league down in LA where there was a lot of NBA players coming to play. I really didn't know too much about the Drew League or anything dealing with it, but I decided one day to just drive down there. I brought my camera, sat in the stands, took a couple pictures, and it was just packed full of all kinds of people. Everybody from NBA players to overseas players to rappers, to college players. It was just an unreal experience. I was just so excited to be in the atmosphere. It became about the awesome basketball, the community, the feeling. It was unlike any other experience of going to a basketball game. As soon as I got back home, I found the Drew League had a Twitter page and I contacted them and showed them some of my work. And the following week, they asked me if I would be interested in being their photographer. And because there was really no media coverage during the lockout of NBA players, my work was being posted all over, from Sports Illustrated to Dime Magazine, blogs all over the internet. And it really started to create a buzz about the summer league basketball, but also myself as a photographer. One of the surprises that came up to the Drew League was LeBron James. It was one of the biggest players to come down and play in this summer league in front of all these people and it was unannounced. Nobody knew that he was gonna be there. As the summer continued, a lot of other summer leagues around the country started to gain notoriety as well. The Goodman League became one of the biggest rivals for the Drew League that summer. Rumors were starting to spread that Kobe Bryant wanted to come play at the Drew League. The Drew League set up a special all-star game before we all went over to the East Coast to play the Goodman League. It was really one of the biggest moments of the summer that showed the connection between these NBA superstars and the fans. So LA packed its bags and flew over to DC. This was really their NBA game because they were starting to come to the realization nobody really knew when the lockout was gonna end. I know you guys not being paid for this. I think you're doing it out of the love of the game. Everybody has played in a Drew League sitting in this locker room, okay? It's bigger than just a showcase game. And like I said, this has been going on since 1973. Nobody was here during that time. No, sir, not me. But hey, you <laughs> know, <laughs> we straight LA. You know, uh -huh. we straight LA. This is all East Coast. It's perfect. You know, you gotta bring the whole East Coast to take care of LA. This was one of the most anticipated games of the summer because it was the first time that these summer leagues were taking matters into their own hands. So this game was really intense. There was lots of emotions. All the fans were really excited to be able to see some of their favorite NBA stars competing despite the fact of the lockout. The game was really intense all the way down to the wire. As the emotions were really heated at this point, the Drew League was up by only one. James Harden was called for the blocking foul. And Kevin Durant was granted two free throws.
As the summer continued to drag on even longer, the idea of a rematch game between the Goodman League and the Drew League came up, but this time to have the Goodman League fly out to LA. The players all agreed, the leagues both agreed, and we set up a rematch game down at Long Beach State with both teams. The Goodman League flew out here. This was probably the biggest game of the summer. This was packed full of people. Everybody was anticipating this rematch game. Wanted to see who was gonna come out for this game. For the fans, you know, it means a lot. The fact that, you know, you got a lot of NBA guys out here playing for free and just playing for the love of the game. So I think that just means a lot to them. Uh, it was cool to see everybody get together and just stay have fun and play the game. So I really just do it for all the fans. It's, you know, of course we want to represent where we come from. Everybody in LA want to represent LA. I want to represent Maryland, D.C., so we're going to play hard and have fun. That means a lot for us because this is the closest we're going to get to, to a season of playing, so we, we're taking it serious and enjoying ourselves. You know, I mean, you're going to see a couple of highlights here and there, but at the same time, you're going to see a, a serious basketball game, so it's great and for the fans to come out and pay $15, $25, $30 to get a chance to see a lot of NBA guys play. That means a lot. That's what we're doing it for, you know what I mean? Yeah. Without their support, we're playing these summer games. It doesn't mean that throughout the lockout. You know, revenge. You know, we lost the last one by one point. Uh, we're definitely going to be tough, you know. Just go out there, fight, play defense and play offense, and go out there for the show off for everybody. Put me in the body of Which one's your first tattoo? Say it again. That's Which one's your first one? Your first one you got on your ribs? That must have been painful. Burning. That was burning up. That whole thing? Maybe cool. before a game, too. And you played on it like that? Wasn't yeah, it uncomfortable? Yeah, but I played it. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, 15, 16 shots. So my, that's where I grew up. I grew up my home. It hurt, man. No more chance, no more sin. After the country had seen the impact of the capital punishment game, a lot of other NBA players wanted to get involved in summer basketball. The big payback game brought along some new faces that hadn't played that summer. John Wall of the Goodman League with 55 points, while Kevin Durant contributed 50 points. For the Drew League, James Harden finished with 48 points. The Drew League ended up winning at the end of that, so at the end of the summer, it's technically tied 1-1. Shortly after that, Thanksgiving came around, and finally the lockout came to an end. I would say that the NBA lockout did change the face of the summer leagues because the high level competition that was coming out and playing against each other really raised the bar and it raised the level of respect that people had for off-season basketball. 